we're at the Mr. Floki's Coffee Shop. friends we're from 11 abma and today we're here at mr floki's coffee shop to introduce to you guys the owner of this magnificent coffee shop that we could just pat around the corner uh, aside from being a successful owner we're also curious um about how this ma magnificent owner manages a thriving business so now let's meet and interview the owner so ma'am, kamusta po kayo today? Ang um, okay naman, medyo busy lang ako sa work. Ready na po ba kayo sa aming interview? Oo, oh, ready na. So let's start. Um, hi, my name is Jadine Cazel Tenedero. And I'm currently working as a freelancer or visual assistant. Um, last 2013, I used to work as a online casino dealer and then after a year, I got promoted to be supervisor. And then, sad, um, unfortunately, our company has decided to this the operation because due to financial crisis. Then after that, I decided to sell again in Shopee. Actually, I, I'm the one uh, finally selling in Shopee Philippines. I started selling in Shopee since 2015. And then, uh, during the pandemic, um, I'm one of the top sellers in the Shopee. But after that, when the Tai Tai Changge opened again, um, the competition got so high. That's why I decided to close my shop in Shopee. Um, last, um, two years ago, I decided to open this coffee shop, which is Mr. Floki's Coffee. Actually, this place was my um, warehouse of my stock. The turn of pajama that I sold in Shopee before. Because my uncle is an architect, he decided to renovate this place to become a coffee shop. Wow, very nice. Actually, it came from my youngest son nickname, but his real nickname is Fabian Austin, because um, um, Floki came from the nickname of Flo, because during my pregnancy time, my husband held my tummy and then just told my, um, he, he said that, hey, my baby Flo, Flo, and then I just decided to make it social, so I make it Floki. So, dun pala nang galing ang pangalan na Floki's Coffee. Shop. Our pizza, because our pizza are all handcrafted. I'm the one who created the dough from the scratch. Actually, this is not really my uh, type of business because uh, I see class. December 2020, um, I took a course for bakery business mm -hmm. because I really want to establish a bakery but end, ending up on pizza and coffee shop. Mm -hmm. um, turning two years this coming May 25. Wow, So, Yes. Actually, there is always room for improvement, especially in business. You need to improve and um, check your competitors and the latest trend in order to go with the flow. Yes. Um, 
I think um, me as an owner because I'm a person who loves to skill myself. I love learning new things actually aside from pizza making and being barista, I'm also a perfumer. Wow. And I took a lot of course in freelancing. So, may hilig po ba kayo sa kape, ma'am? Yes, especially ang um, iced coffee. So, kaya nyo rin po, isa rin po yun sa mga dahilan po ba't kayo nag-tayo ng business ko? Oo, oh, kasi before, bago akong mag-work, lagi akong bibili po na ako ng coffee. Uh, business goals, expanding our business and looking for good commercial spot. Actually, none. I think that I just need to uh, find more um, spacious space and um, a, comer a really commercial space who has a lot of people walking by. Um, hopefully, um, I have three branches and another business open. Yeah. Ano pong business yun? Um, I'm planning to have a uh, mini restaurant. Not oh. restaurant, but a rice at silugan. Mm -hmm. Like that. Ah, may hilig din po kayo sa top silugan? No, uh, my husband loves to cook. Actually, uh, hindi ko pa masasabi yung future niya since uh, para tong naging milk tea eh, yung pag-boom ng business sobrang biglang dami. Actually, it's a signal yata. Uh, para ako pa yung nauna sa signal mm -hmm. nung during 2021. Matagal-tagal na rin po kasi yung business niya eh. No? Oh, At saka marami pong mahilig magkape. Especially yes. yung mga estudyante pag uuwi or mga galing sa trabaho, mahilig magkape na oh. rin. business goal to expand and to help more employees and I'm planning to hire uh, PWD employees because since my second child is a PWD. Mm -hmm. yes. So, dumako na po tayo sa last question. Um, don't stop to try. If you fall five, Race seven. <laughs> because I'm a, a business person since birth. Eh. Since when I was a child, I love doing business. I love selling anything that I can do, that I can sell. Bata pa lang po kayo, business minded na po talaga. Yes, business minded. Ang dami ko naman naging business eh. Pero syempre, lagi pa rin siyang fail yung ganun. Kaya lagi ako nagkatry yung nagkatry. I never stop kasi I love, I love business talaga. Ang galing nga po, di ba? Nagsabi nyo nga kanina, nag-top seller po kayo sa Shopee. Oo. Oh, actually, yeah. nagkaroon ako ng manager doon. Kasi pag top se seller ka sa Shopee, bibiya ka na sarili mong manager. Ganun po pala pag nagtitinta ko sa Shopee, no? Oo. Oh, may sarili kang manager ng business mo. Tapos sa mga campaign, tapos yung mga ads sa Facebook, yun, lumalabas kami doon. Yung, yung si Shopee yung nagbabayad ng So, pwede pong malaman, ma'am, kung ano po yung una niyong tinitinta sa Shopee? Ano, actually hindi lang sa Shopee ako nag-start ng e-commerce eh, eBay 2010. Mm. eBay pa, eBay. Ang tagal nyo na po na Oo, oh, oh. and then tapos dati kasi meron ding bago yung Lazada, meron talaga isa pang e-commerce na nakuna sa Pinas, yung halo-halo mo, kaya lang nalubi sila. Mm. Pero sa Shopee, pioneer seller ako din kasi Shopee is 2015. 2015 din ako nag-start doon. So, nag-start pa lang po yung Shopee. Is dun, nagtitinda na kayo doon? Oo, oh, kasi minessage ako ng mga ano nila, marketing nila kung interested ako magtinda sa kanila. Tapos, ayun nga, free pick-up. Unlike before kasi sa eBay, is pupunta pa ng post office para isend. Mm -hmm. Pero bago mag-Shopee noon, nag-online selling na talaga ako dati sa Facebook. Mm -hmm. na, Nagpumuto kasi yung online selling mga ano na yun, 2019. Pero ako 2009, online seller na ako. Oh, ang tagal nyo na rin po pala nag-online seller niya. Oo, oh, oh, 2009. Ah, so, Balik mga Prada ko noon. Kasi yung mom ko kasi nasa Japan. Tapos, ang, ang ano siya, collector siya ng Hello Kitty. Tapos, pinadala niya ako and then nagtinda ako sa Aani. I don't know kung alam niyo yung Aani. Yung weekend market sa FTI. Hindi hmm, po mas... Ayun, tapos ano, yung mga hindi na benta ron, naisip ko siya na i-post sa Facebook. Tapos, one time may nag-ano, may nag-ano ba to? May isang OFW na 
inubos siya yung paninda ko. Akala ko joke lang kasi first time, ano to, ang daming binil, worth 5k yata yun. Tapos, magbabayad siya agad. Tapos, ang ginawa ko sa pera, imbis na gasos nyo ko, nagpunta kang divisorya. Kasi divisorya kasi maraming Hello Kitty. Tapos, doon na nag-start yung, ano, ako pinaparol ko na yung pera ko doon. Then, lumago ko na lumago yung business nyo. Oo, pero yung nag-ending, ano rin eh, nawala din siya. Kasi, syempre, ano pa lang ako, 19. Siyempre, ano kami nun eh. Siyempre yung pera. Luho, luho, ganyan. Ganun naman po talaga sa business, no? Magtatry ka nang magtatry hanggang sa mag-succeed ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Siyempre, yung mga failures mo, kung bakit ka nag-fail, gawin mo yung strength mo yun para may ma-improve mo yung mga susunod mong business. Pero, hindi hindi mo pwedeng gawin na, for example, tatlong beses ka nag-try ng business, tas failed lahat. Hindi ibig sabihin na is failed ka na forever. May mga business mo wala talaga na sobrang swerte na Isang put up lang na yung negosyo is boom agad. So, tama po kayo dyan na. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpapaunlak nyo na aming interview ngayong araw. Thank you. What a wonderful interview we had guys. Have you learned something today? Because we've learned so much today that we can definitely use as a student under the business track. Again, we're from 11ABMA. Thank you for watching.